What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. In today's video, we're going to be showing off a Dragapult VMAX deck that can remove all of your opponent's energy from play. Let's take a look at the list. This Dragapult VMAX deck is based off of a deck list from Alex Shemansky, so big shout out to Alex for creating a very busted deck that we have here. Dragapult VMAX is the star of the show with 320 HP and two great attacks. Its first attack, Shred, for one Psychic Energy deals 60 damage and is not affected by any effects on the opponent's active Pokemon. Max Phantom for two Psychic Energy deals 130 damage and allows you to place five damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. And that snipe damage can really add up quickly, allowing you to take some big swing knockouts on multiple Pokemon at the same time. Now, unfortunately, Dragapult VMAX does have a weakness to Dark, and Eternatus VMAX is one of the most popular decks in the format right now. However, instead of playing Weakness Guard Energy, which doesn't really comply with any of Dragapult's attacks, we've opted to try and keep Eternatus from attacking altogether with Energy Denial. And this deck is absolutely filled with Energy Denial. We've got four copies of Crushing Hammer. We have got Dimension Breach Giratina here, which has an ability that allows you to discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon when you play the Giratina from your hand to your bench. You can reuse that ability with Scoop Up Net as well. And we also have a 2-2 Clefable line with the Prankish ability, which allows you to put an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon back to the top of the deck when you evolve the Clefairy into a Clefable. And it's awesome because you can reuse this ability with Scoop Up Net. It's just a 2-2 Clefable line, but if you have two Clefairy in play and one Clefable, you can Prankish, Scoop Up Net, Prankish again, and redo it next turn. It's just a very powerful uh, ability, and it really helps you with the energy denial aspect of this deck. Now, you'll notice that there are no Jirachis in the decks, just straight consistency with the Dene GX and Crobat V. We don't have any sort of Jirachi Stellar Wish action going on, and the deck still draws very smoothly. We do have a ton of supporters in the deck, four Marnie, four Research, and a lot of Pokemon Search as well, three Pokemon Communication, and four Quick Ball. I do like the Mind Report Mewtwo in the deck as well, allowing you to put a supporter card from your discard pile on top of your deck when you put the mind report Mewtwo from your hand to the bench it's a very useful ability that can keep you drawing the supporters that you want throughout the game two bosses orders making sure that even though you can snipe damage wherever you want you are going to want to hit uh, the correct Pokemon with those max phantom attacks. Since the overall damage output of Dragon Ball VMAX is a little bit low, you really want to make sure you're attacking exactly who you want to be attacking every single turn. Also, Prankish only works on your opponent's active Pokemon, so being able to boss something into the active position means that then you can use Prankish, and you can also use the Dimension Breach Giratina on that target. So Boss's Orders is very important. We also have the Team Yelk Runt here, which also allows you to remove an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. It just bounces an energy from any of your opponent's Pokemon back to their hand. This card has proved to be very good in all of the energy denial decks that I've played it in so far, so I really like that card here as well. And we do have the Galarian Zigzagoon also. You can use Scoop Up Net to make sure that your max phantom damage output is correct as far as the math goes. The Galarian Zigzagoon really helps you to take out 60 HP targets on your opponent's bench or Jirachis. It also can just fix math if you're short by 10 somewhere. Having that Galarian Zigzagoon out is very good for this deck. Two copies of Reset Stamp goes very well in here as well, since you can remove energy from your opponent's Pokemon, stamp them to low, and then take big sweeping knockouts with Max Phantom. All in all, it is a lot of fun to play, and I definitely recommend giving this deck a try. If you like Dragapult VMAX, let's check out the deck in action, and let me know what do you think of Dragapult VMAX Clefable in the comments below. He's not convinced. You're not convinced, Riley? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm convinced either, but we're at least gonna see, right? That's the whole idea of the stream is you gotta you gotta see. At least see it with our own eyeballs. Yo, give me don't I have a gold switch in here? No, I must have traded that away for like, you know, three darkness and blaze packs or something. Alright, we've got those reset stamps. Oh my gosh, they really all gotta go, don't they? Yeah. Ew. Ew. There we go. It's fine. And the bird keepers. Gross. 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 Okay. Fine. Cool. There we go. 
Looking good, chat. A Mewtwo. All right, and then we're done. Get these reverses out of my deck. All right. I'm going to check out Alex Shemansky's list here. See how it works. What do you guys think, chat? Uh, let's see. Uh, Fairy Pulse. Cool. In three games, what's our record going to be? Three games. How are we doing? Still got a reverse goon? It's fine. If I didn't catch it, I didn't catch it. Fair report. Where are you at? Not over here. Should have been read. Oh, it's Alex Fairy Pult. That's right. Okay. Samniac says, O oh, to the trash. Wow. We got some three O's and we got some O threes. Bad Potato says four O in three games. All right. Let's see. Let's see. You know, I'm trying to think, like, what deck should we even fare well against? We should fare well against... What's, like, a good matchup? I mean, we should have, like, a decent... Nah, I, I, I'm having trouble imagining what's our... What are our good matchups with this deck? I don't even know that we have any. Right? Yo, what's up, Seacal? Mad Party's our good matchup. Is Eternatus a good matchup? We're about to find out. Tune into Tricky Jim. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go get the broken cards out of the deck. I'm going to go get some Clefairies. Seems good. I'm going to get another Clefairy. Love to see it. And then this is when uh, to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put an energy attached to your opponent's active. Okay, it's only active. That seems not good. Because then can't your opponent just like... Can't your opponent just chill and like... You know, not attach their energy to their active? That would be my major concern. Anyways, let's bite. I think my major concern would be that my opponent... Ah, I see you You as well have a good deck. And they won't attach the energy to the active. That they'll just kind of build up energy on the bench. And they go with Piers, so they're guaranteed the energy this turn. Then I'm going to evolve Marnie. Seems good. We definitely run scoop up nets in the deck, right? So we've got a good amount of those we can use. And then... We get to kind of keep this board, hopefully denying energy from my opponent's deck. They do find the darkness energy. I wonder if they're going to be able to power excel. That would be bad for us. We do have Grunt. This is true. They do not have... Wow, they actually just attached to the... Well, that seems very good for us. So we're going to go here. And we're going to evolve, and then it just puts the energy onto the top of their deck. So, I like that. That was fun. Yep. Go ahead and just put that right over there, partner. Okay. I'm going to evolve into Dragapult VMAX now. And then I could stack another supporter if I want to. I feel like we might as well just do that. That seems good. Like We're just going to stack research. And then I'm going to Marnie. Seems chill. And then we have Hammer, but I did not get another Energy, unfortunately. <clears throat> I think I saved this hand, and I just Shred. I don't think it's worth day, day changing. I think the Hammers are too important in this matchup, so I think we're just going to Shred here. And then next turn, I could potentially get another Clefable. So we're going to get hit with the Power Accelerator again. I wonder if they find another Darkness Energy. They do. It's one of the reasons that I definitely wanted to hang on to the Hammer. Uh, to see if we couldn't hit that. Cool. So we're going to remove off the bench. And then we're going to go Evolution Incense. And we're going to go Fable again. The Energy attached to their Active. 
back on top of the deck. And then we're going to go balloon on the balloon on the active seems fine. Yeah, and then we're going to research. Seems chill. I wasn't going to dead it, chat. I wasn't going to... Come on. <laughs> I wasn't going to dead it change. Who thought I was going to dead it change? Man, y'all are tripping. Okay. I do have the horror psychic energy. It's time to start doing some things. Man, I had a research and two dead in my hand. What did you guys think was about to go down? Um. All right, we are stuck here, kind of not doing too much, but... That's okay. Yo, thank you so much, Marky Mark, for that prime sub. And then... Yeah, it's fine. We're just going to max phantom. Kind of see what happens. We'll deal our, deal our damage there, and then I'm thinking, you know, we're going to have to catch up with this Eternatus VMAX eventually, I think. I do know that I gave my opponent an energy on top of their deck so they can use Power Excel again. We do wish we had a boss... That would be pretty good so that I could then snipe this Eternatus V on the bench. There would be... there. Also, there was just no point to Data Change there, yeah. Like, even if there was no Power Plant in play, the Data Change there would be, like, for what? <clears throat> now they do take 20 damage, put themselves at 10 remaining. We do play Scoop Up Nets, thankfully. Um, thankfully. So, there's a scoop up net. I think I need to go quick ball away this. I have a zigzagoon. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I can zigzagoon knock that thing out. And then I can crowbat as well. Um, I feel like I need to do more. But Crobat's, like, not doing a whole lot. I didn't want to, like, thin this hand down. I should have tried the Crushing Hammer first, and then I would be, like, more at peace with whatever my next play is. I think. Zigzagoon gets me plus two, though. I like, I like that play. All right. I think we just do that. That does get me plus two to the hand because of the, uh, the prizes. So, you know, a play might reveal itself here. We'll see. Nope. That's cool. All right, well, now we really want to hit this Crushing Hammer. Excellent. I'm glad that I'm still very good at this game. And then we're going to want to use this Scoop Up Net here and stack ourselves a supporter on top of the deck. Yeah, we're going to want, like, a good old Marnie. Seems fine. And then uh, we're going to put a Horror Psychic here, and we are going to Max Phantom. And then we are going to put some more damage counters onto, I believe... The Crobat seems like the place to go at this point. So, now we're feeling pretty good. I have to say, that was nice. That was nice. I wish I had played the Crushing Hammer before I went for the Quick Ball. That just would have been, like, you know, that would have been the better way to, to route that. But this is my very first game ever playing with this deck. So, I have to say, you know, it is, uh, it is definitely interesting, you know, trying to figure out the best way to route plays. Now they are going in with the Hoopa there. They're going to eat 20 damage. And uh, it's a little bit tough for us. Because I need to find a VMAX to knock this out. Now, I mean, the Hoopa is fine. They're going to trade the Hoopa for three prizes. But they don't get an energy drop on one of these. So that makes me feel pretty good. Um, and then what I'm doing, Jet Assault does a knockout if I can switch it from the active. But I guess there's no guarantee that I find a scoop up nets. I have three Pokemon Communication and two Evolution Incense in the discard pile, though. So I would be more likely to believe that I would probably find a Switch card, you know, for one of my Clefables than to find the VMAX. So that's the gamble that we're taking here. Do have a Crobat in my deck. We're just going to Marnie. And I think that, you know, we may find Scoop Up Net. We actually just found Switches. So that was kind of my thought, right? Is that we weren't going to we weren't going to find the VMAX because I looked in my deck and most of my evolution incenses and stuff were all gone. So we're just going to jet assault, and then I have three prizes remaining. 
have a hammer in hand, which is good as well. Quick ball there, I can dig with Crobat to potentially find some stuff. However, we are in a kind of a grindy position here because of the fact, well, my opponent was able to remove one of my energy. That was tough. But, you know, this thing has still got a couple of swings left. New Hoopa down, though. Doesn't hit for weakness. Does 90. Yeah. So that's fine. They are using Great Ball Drawing More Cards. Not being able to reset any of these Clefables yet has been a little tough. Might find the VMAX here off of this Marnie, though. So that's something. Yeah, we got Research. Crushing Hammer. Nice. Cool. Now... I could stamp them to three before I research. I feel like I just need to find a quick ball for my Garatina to remove that energy from play, right? All right, so we're going here. Can I afford to scoop up the Clefable and then put down the Clefairy and then research the Clefable away? Probably have to. I'll stamp them into three new cards while I think. That or I put the Mewtwo and I can put like any of these supporters on top of the deck. But it only discards from the active. Thanks. Okay, I forgot the Giratina. It's Yell it's Yell Grunt. Yell Grunt is from the bench. Okay. Good to know. So I need to hit a hammer here. That's fine. Alright. I still think we can probably do this play. And then research it. So yeah, we need to find a hammer. Gosh, I'm good at this game. All right, here we go. Then we're gonna go here, and then we should have it locked up now. Should. Keyword, should. I think we're uh, we're very close now. Um, at this point, I'm just targeting down the V maxes. Because I think that's going to be my route to win. Just to take one of the... Okay, or not. Mallow and Lana in there. Sure, sure, sure. That's fine. So long as they don't have an energy drop as well. No, no energy drop. We're chilling. Okay. Got a one card hand. They've got no energy in play. We should have it all locked up now. Um, I'm just going to save my boss for game. We're going to attach energy here. Gonna max Phantom and put five onto the Eternatus V Max here. And then I can gust this next turn for game. 130 plus 230, yeah, that'll do it. So there's no real point in using boss this turn since there's only one boss in my deck. Uh, I mean I guess I could go boss and then I could have stacked the you know boss back, but like I don't think that there's a point in doing it. Now if I get Marnied here. That could be a little bit bad. It would have protected me. Had I gone boss, stack boss, it would have protected me against any kind of Marnies. Which would have been sick, but I don't think that I'm getting Marnie or stamped here. And we should just be able to keep this. Yeah, and that's going to be well played. It does kind of hurt to be an Eternatus deck and lose to a Dragapult deck, I have, have to say. Yeah, I've been on the receiving end of this. I have. I've definitely been an Eternatus deck that has lost to a Dragapult deck, but to see it in action on the other side was pretty crazy, I have to say. All right, we've got an awesome opening hand, except for the lack of draw card. But aside from the lack of draw card, yo, you guys think Mr. R Mr. Code Red likes Mountain Dew? Other than the glaring lack of draw card, pretty good opening hand. You think Mr. Code Red likes Code Red Mountain Dew? Code Red Mountain Dew is objectively the worst Mountain Dew flavor, I do have to say. I don't know, chat. Agree or disagree? Press 1 if you agree. Press 2, disagree. Yep. 
Code Red is the worst Mountain Dew flavor. I mean, yeah, Baja Blast is the best. If not Code Red, then let me know what the worst one is. Yeah. Which one is then? Diet? No, diet doesn't count. I'm talking about of like the... Diet doesn't count. Diet's not a flavor of Mountain Dew. All right. Put this thing down. Horror Psychic. Pitch Black rocks. Baja rocks. Got no VMAXs here. Hmm. This seems bad. I think we just dive in looking for... Oh, this seems really bad. Um, this feels horrible. I mean, if the Dragon Pole gets knocked out, then... I mean, I guess I kind of have to, like, chill here, though. Okay. Go here. And that way... Yeah, that's fine. And I just have to jet assault for, like, nothing. And that way, if they come up and they knock out my Dragapult V with an Eternatus VMAX, then we go Clefable, scoop up Clefable, energy here, research, right? Livewire is good. That's what I'm saying. Livewire is better than Code Red. Baja Blast is better than Code Red. Pitch Black is better than Code Red. Voltage is better than Code Red. They're all better than Code Red, chat. They're all better. Whiteout is better than Code Red. <laughs> all right, the Sangria one might be worse than Code Red. The sangria, I, I could get with that. The sangria one that, that I've only had that one time at Taco Bell one time. <laughs> Can we at least all agree that Baja Blast is the best one, though? Right? Baja Blast is objectively the best flavor. So long as we're all on board with that. Listen, I don't care how you rank the bottom five Mountain Dews. I mean, Code Red's in there, the bottom five. But I don't care how you rank them. Ah, oh, look at that hand. That's sure thing, bud. All right. <laughs> Go here. <laughs> and yes, drink more water. Drink more water for sure. Water's good for you. Water's good for you, kids. So at this point, we just try to, you know, keep things even keel, even keel here, you know. Oh, have I tried the Voodoo? Yes, the new Halloween Mountain Dew tastes like Skittles. Yep. And you guys had the new Voodoo Mountain Dew. It literally takes like if you took Skittles and you like click 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 click, you know, put them into a can. Clink, 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 clink. Meshed them all up. It's literally Skittles. That's it. All right, so let's see. They've got the energy on the active Eternatus VMAX. This is pretty good because we... Uh, I think we can all agree that canned Mountain Dew tastes better than plastic bottle Mountain Dew, right? We all agree that soda comes better in a can. That's like, come on. Nobody prefers bottles to cans. Nobody. Fountain soda is better than the bottle. Fountain soda is actually the next best right next to can. Or, yeah, it's can, fountain, bottle. Bottle is, like, definitely the worst. 
The only thing I could be convinced that might be better than can is a glass bottle, I guess. Glass bottles are nice. I think probably the best way to enjoy, I don't know, if you ever had like a frosted mug, have you ever, there's been times where I've, I've taken a plastic bottle drink and you can elevate it by using a, uh, you ever just like frost your own mug in the freezer? Now that right there, that's a pro play. Okay. We're going to go quick ball away and energy. And I just want to get a Mewtwo. And then, let me look. Yep. I'm going to go here. We're going to put the boss's orders back on top of the deck so that I just have access to it next turn. And then I'm going to max Phantom this. And the reason we're putting the boss on top of the deck is because at this point now I am. See, this thing is like kind of close to going down. Yeah, that'd actually be kind of cool if we took this thing out. It's nice. Because then if my opponent ever finds a stadium, they're not going to be poisoning me like crazy. So that's good. Audrey Apple says, growing up in a poor country, got sewed off the streets in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Is that, is that real? Can't tell if trolled or... Yeah, probably better than a... To be fair, plastic bag might actually be better than a plastic bottle, though. But I have to say, from a reusable standpoint, okay, if you've never tried it, I've been on this platform too long to know what cat means. <laughs> I don't know. It might mean sarcasm, but it might, uh, but I don't know. Audrey might have been telling the truth, though. I don't know. We'll have to ask. Yeah, it's real. That's what I'm saying. Chat is confirming it's real, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just something I had no idea. Yo, thank you so much, Josh, for the sub. Appreciate you, Josh. All right, they've got the energy drop there. So we are going to boss this Eternatus. We're going to go here. Evolution Incense into Clefable. Guarantee that energy back on top of the deck. Drop the energy onto the bench to Dragapult VMAX. I'm poisoned now. It's a little annoying. I could honestly just switch to kick the poison, but now that that thing's just going to be kicking every single turn, it's a little bit frustrating. I think it's fine. We'll just data change. See some more cards. Okay. We found the air balloon. Got a crushing hammer now. That's cool. I'm going to keep all of those things. And we're just going to max phantom. I've got five prizes remaining. So we can put, just got to load up that other Eternatus as well. Keep them out of attacking. They've got four prizes remaining, so they are going to have to take out two Dragapults. Yo, Dragon Hero, is that serious? Used to save up bag milks and throw them at buses during recess. That's crazy. That's crazy. But I have to say, from a reusable standpoint, obviously, you know, uh, the frosted mug is my favorite way to really enjoy a beverage. If you've never frosted your own mug, because they do it at, like, restaurants, right? They bring out a, a frosted mug with, like, your, your pop in it or whatever. I have to say, you just take a mug, take your, like, your thickest mug, put it in the freezer for a day, and then try your pop, and that is better than a can. It is. It's actually the better way. If you've never frosted your own mug, I highly recommend it. It's the best way to enjoy a soft drink. Yo. Josh. Josh Keen. Hopping in there with the five gifted subs. Yo, appreciate it. Make sure, if you have not already, check out Mean Keen TCG. Mean Keen TCG on Twitch. Thank you so much. Josh, for those gifted subs, thank you so much for the generosity. All right, my opponent's got one energy in play now. So we are going to go Evolution Incense. 
There's nothing in the deck. That's fine. Opponent's got Viridian away, this Dragapult. We get the last energy out of our deck. I've still got a bunch of hammers left, so we can use those. Um, I'll save the reset stamps. Well, obviously, I'm getting rid of Marnie, so. Okay. It's pretty good. So, all I really need to do to take my final five prizes are swing and then boss next turn. That's it. And then we just win. So, we're going to attempt to hammer that energy. Wow, very good at this game. Cool. And then we're going to go stack the boss on top of our deck with the Mewtwo. Stack the boss. Okay, so now I've got boss on this side, boss on that side. We're going to max Phantom. And we're going to put our damage counters onto the Eternatus VMAX. And then I should just be able to win the game with a max Phantom. This thing's got 10 HP left. These guys are not long for this game either. So we're feeling like we're in a pretty good spot. We've been able to completely keep all of the energy off of the Eternatus VMAX. What do we... Uh... Yo, Josh, congrats on your newborn. Wow, chat, let's wish uh, Josh congratulations. Josh and his wife just had a had a baby. Yo, let's get some let's goes in the chat for Josh. Congrats, guys. And uh, hopefully everything goes well. Have fun and keep us posted. All right, so then we've got game here, boss's orders. Uh, on to, literally, I don't actually have to boss. Actually, does boss lose me the game? That'd be super pog. No, it doesn't. I still win. All right, cool. Yeah, max phantom. <laughs> no, we still got it. Yeah, 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 we're chilling. All right. Yeah, GG's. Five prizes there. Dragapult VMAX. Doing its thing, chat. Doing its thing. Yeah, whatever. Okay, here we go. Hey, what's up? Broken deck. And then next turn, we're looking like we are in a pretty good spot. They've got greens. I have to say, though, you know that energy switch there? You know? You know that energy switch just won my opponent that game. So now they're just like, you know, if we, if I ever tried to tell, like, I don't know, like, energy switch, that's a crazy card to have in your churches. They'd be like, scoreboard, bud. Scoreboard. Body. They'd be like, you're mad. <laughs> scoreboard. <laughs> energy, energy switch just won me that game on stream. You're mad. <laughs> and I'd be like, he <laughs> got me. Right. <laughs> Whew. All right, let's see what we got going on here. You mad, bro? Because you sound mad. You sound mad. Can't tell. Seems mad. I'm not going to lie. That caught me very off guard. So we're going to go with some crushing hammers. Very good. Yep, just get rid of those things. Right over there. If you could just remove all of that energy from your board, that'd be great. Okay, we're going to put the zigzagoon down. And we're going to ping that, and then we're going to research. And, uh, okay, if we could just remove the third energy, that would be really sick. Cool. Let's see. We do have the air balloon. That's nice. We have another dragapult. That's cool. We can scoop up nets. This. Ping again. Go here. Grab Crobat. Um, just a Denny. Going in. Day day change. Very cool. We've got Evolution Incense. Go get ourselves Dragapult V Max. Got the energy to drop. Max Phantom. And uh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, that seemed that seemed very strong, chat. Loved it. Yeah. Remove two energy, completely undo 
the flare starter turn two max phantom we've got some clefables here ready to go right this seems like we are kind of a shoe in right right now I think next turn, you know, any energy that gets put onto this thing, you're just going to go in with the Clefables, put the energy back on top of the deck. I think having the 2-2 two -two Clefable line is really cool uh, with the Dragapult deck. It does feel, feels like it really fits. Yes, for sure, Melodious. We will, we will. It's Alex Shemansky's list, so can't take credit for it. It's a very cool deck, though. We did switch up a couple of cards to accommodate for the second boss's orders. You definitely need two boss in the deck. And uh, then I cut the bird keepers too because I didn't really like those. But, you know, the idea is very solid. Yo, what's up, Bryce? How you doing? Let's see, so they've got another Charizard. On their bench. Got the second energy. Are they going to go ahead and use the GX attack? Yes, they are. They're just des desperately trying to get more energy into play. Which makes sense. They're going to accelerate to the bench. I think as so long as we just keep swinging. Oh, and I'm burned and confused. Sad. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely just going in. Hammer. Okay. Keep energy off the benched one, and then I'm going to research. Dang, Chet. It's unfortunate. Yeah, Yo, you think I got the Max Phantom? You think I'm just going to clutch it out? Think we just got it like that? What's the worst? Okay, if I flip heads, if I flip heads, broken play extremely gigantic noggin play. It's a low risk flip. That's what I'm saying. Because 180, if I get hit back with 180, 180 plus 30, 50, that's like two something. It's like, it It literally doesn't matter. So it's like, you just go for it. Yeah. We just go for the Max Phantom. Yeah, well, you know. I think it was correct to go for it. Yeah. Because the alternative is to like retreat and try to do something crazy. And that doesn't seem right. I just don't don't seem right, chat. So they've got the Surge, Cynthia, and Caitlin Welder play. That's fine. So they're going to be able to attack with Brilliant Flame. I'm going to take the cards that they get out of their deck and I'm going to put them on the bottom of the deck with Marnie. Yo. The Cynthia, do they already have the Welder in their hand? Yes, they do. So they were getting the greens back. That's fine. So they're going to use Brilliant Flare this turn. They're not going to take a knockout, though. And then they're going to get a bunch of cards out of their deck that they are not going to get to keep. Because I'm going to Marnie them back down. Now, we do wish we could just find a Clefable because I've got the two scoop up nets in my hand ready to go. So if we could just find one of those Clefables, you know, we could remove two energy. which is super nice. We'll admit, though, both the Charizards having, you know, the energy built up at this point, that is unfortunate. The confusion there did really pay off for my opponent. We whipped the switch that we needed, so it's unfortunate. I'm going to go get a bunch of cards out of their deck. I've got the Horror Psychic here for the bench. They take 20. Cool. And there's the switch, sure enough. Okay. I'm going to go energy here. We're going to go switch into Clefairy. And I'm going to Marnie those cards to the bottom of the deck. Uh, I think I can probably afford to scoop up Net the Glaring Zigzagoon and just leave an extra bench spot open for, like, any fun and activities. Any fun activities I find here on the other side of the Marnie. <clears throat> like Mewtwo or, you know, Denny or whatever so we do have this which can put an energy back that's nice 
And then I think we want to go here. And then I might, yeah, just go for like the other scoop up net or something. Or, you know, the other Clefable. With the Dedeni, is there any supporter I want to put back in? No, we're just going to daily change. It's fine. You go see more cards. Okay, so that way we force them to have Welder Double Fire at least by putting both those energies back. Is a little bit rough though because I don't have enough backup Dragapult VMAX right now. So, you know, in a little bit of a tough spot. <clears throat> But we will see. We'll see. I do have boss. So if they don't have it this turn, then we're in a good space. But if they do have it, I'm in a pretty bad space. Because I don't have any responses here. They got tag call. It might be a Mallow and Lana play. No? Let's see. Here's a hammer. Bad. It's fine though. I mean, really, I just have the two Dragapults. If either, you know, if those go down, I lose. So, energy on the active. Do they not have it? Did we stick them for a turn? Oh baby, yes, we did. All right, let's go, chat. We got there, and I have the backup Dragapults. Treat here, go there, boss. And we're gonna go max phantom. We're in a pretty decent spot now. So we take that knockout, put some pressure on this thing. Got a scoop up net as well. And an energy, all right. Pretty good spot. And they've got greens. This thing's got 120 health left. If I just attack with Max Phantom, we win. So they're gonna plant stamp me and try to keep me out of game winning energy. Which makes sense, yeah, that adds up. All right, here's the power plant. Plant stamp to two, need an energy. This is very good. So we do have crow, eh? No, I do not have Crobat left in the deck. But we can Marnie. Still pretty good. And I can quick ball away whatever my top deck is to thin the deck for us. So we like that. And I have a decent amount of energy left in the deck. And if I can just use Max Phantom, we win. Thing's got 100 HP left. So we're going to promote the Clefable. And uh, see what's up. Let's go, chat. All right, we got a scoop up net. I do not think that it matters, but we'll scoop up net this. Check the deck. Then drag a pulled out, the zigzagoon out. Yeah, that's fine. Just thin this out. They've got three prizes left. So it doesn't really matter. We just put these guys down. And Marnie. And we got the game-winning energy right there, chat. Let's go. GG's to my opponent. All right. Max Phantom. And we're in there. I was forgetting about the heat fire energy the whole time. But it's cool. We were still in there. <laughs> And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday starting at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Also, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com for all of the best trading card game singles. Also, if you got extra cards lying around the house and you want to get some cash for them, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles. You can trade your bulk Pokemon cards for a store credit. You can trade it for a booster box. 
box, and you can even trade your cards for cash all on FullGripGames.com. I've got a very easy to follow video explaining how to sell your cards to FullGrip. You just fill out a buy list with the cards you want to sell us. You send us the cards and we send you the cash. It really is that easy. And y'all take it easy and have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.